Hello, I'm Atuba George. I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. And hey, today is Friday. Praise God. Are you, are you ready? And today is the last day of the month of May. So listen, you should be so expectant today. And when I say expectant, I'm not saying be desperate. I just say just release your faith to the Lord for good things today. Are you ready for that? Listen, a miracle should happen in your life today. Yes, a miracle should happen in your life today. Are you ready to receive it? Join me now and say, Father, I receive a miracle today in connection with my daily bread. Lord, there is nothing impossible with you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you, can you just make one request to the Lord with regards to your need, something you want today? Something you want today. Now, let it be natural. Something you really want today. There's, there's, there's so much grace I feel in my heart right now. So can you just make a request before the Lord? Right now, right now. I'm not saying later. Right now. Something you need and mention it before the Lord. Right now. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I join my faith with yours right now. And in obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I declare, Lord, let a miracle take place in their lives right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let a miracle take place today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. I see someone. There's a, there's a letter that I've been ready um, for a new posting for you. And um, thank you, Holy Spirit. There's been a bit of a controversy around that posting. But I declare over you right now that today, today, Friday, you are receiving that letter. Whatever controversy that exists, it comes to an end right now. Receive, because this posting is something God has actually ordained for you. You're being posted to a new location. You're, you're living that entirely. You're living that area where you stay. You're being sent outside that state to another place. Receive this right now in the name of the Lord jesus christ and i pray for you any controversy that surrounds the promotion you should have received any controversy that surrounds the contract you are supposed to get an appointment that you are supposed to get today today it comes to an end in the name of the lord jesus christ let the angel of god visit that organization visit that person that is holding back that which is yours Today, Father, release an angel to visit on behalf of these ones that have made a request to you right now. Let an angel be released to visit the ones holding back that which is theirs. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I see someone, you're actually being owed some money. I, I seen the number five. The the money is it's five, um, either five million or five hundred. There is a five. The beginning of the number you're being owed is five and some other figures. I, I just saw that as I was praying. Listen, that money is being paid you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. I mean today. I'm not saying um, this today. Today, because these are things that you should have received this month. Listen, anything that is standing on your way of making progress, anything that have hindered you in this month of May, I command it out of the way right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let it leave your paths right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive a miracle today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If there is a contract that you've been trying to get or, or a promotion or, or an appointment, you've been assured of it. But somehow, 
uh, things are not just working out. See, all that controversy comes to an end today. This 31st day of the month of May. It comes to an end today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It ends right now. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. God is sending an angel to visit on your behalf. <laughs> Some of you literally hear this testimony that somebody came and, 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 and warned me. It's not a human being. Oh, you don't know God does things like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a shaking that is going to take place in the next few hours. Someone really, there's going to be a shaking. There's going to be a discovery that will be for your promotion. A discovery that would affect a lot of people. I see a discovery that will affect about four people. But then these four people are people that they have to be um, removed out of the way so that your promotion can come in. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive it right now. Every suppression of a child of God ends today. If you're hearing the sound of my voice and you are under any kind of oppression, you are under any kind of suppression, it comes to an end right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious. I just keep seeing discoveries being made. And uh, such discoveries that will cause them to recognize you for good. Yeah. There's a shaking taking place. But when that shaking starts, don't be afraid. It's for your good. And you realize the shaking started today. Today, I, I, I see God bringing separation with times and portions. I, I see as though God is opening the book of remembrance today. And he's finding out that which is owed you. And, and he's enforcing the payment of that thing. Now, some of you are going to begin to receive things as we enter the new month. But you are going to notice, to tell you that this is, this is what I'm talking about. You're going to notice that the issue started today, this Friday, the 31st day of, of, of May. But you will see the result of it in the month of early early in the early part of the month of june but when you trace it you realize that it started today now some of you are going to receive a miracle today see some you will see the manifestation of the miracle in a few days time but today i, I just see the lord opening up the book of remembrance and your name is being called thank you holy spirit i see angels walking on your behalf yes Angels have been sent on your behalf. A lot of things have been settled today. Why is it, why is it so important that God does this thing today? Because you see, thank you Holy Spirit, the month of June is going to be a month of preparation. I hear the Lord say, the, 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 the third quarter of this year, it's going to be a very controversial quarter. When I say controversial, there's going to be lots of controversies. Now, when I mean controversies, and a lot of things you will not understand. So those of you that are listening, I want you to open your ears carefully. In the month of June, God is going to set you up. God is going to be preparing you. That's why I said the month of June is going to be the month of preparation. That's what I hear the Lord say. So, God will prepare you financially. God will prepare you. Um, he will settle you. There are things you were supposed to have entered since that you couldn't enter. You're going to enter it in the month of June. And when you enter it, don't rejoice yet. Rather, gather. Yeah. Hmm. As the Lord begins to open up wells for you this month, I want you to hear me. Don't, re don't rejoice at the gathering, at the wells that is opening. Rather, 
Gadites. This is one month, this month of June, you should be very attentive to the instructions of the Lord. Some of you are going to receive the kind of money you've never received before in, in, in this month of June we're entering. When you receive it, don't be too quick to say, ah, let me go and uh, 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 uh. listen for instructions from the Lord. Take it before. And see, that's why I, I teach on tithing. Because if you learn to honor the Lord with your tithe, it calms your mind. I'm, I'm telling this from experience. Someone say, ah, what if someone just gives you a billion? What will you do? So they say, ah, I'll just faint. No. No, you will not faint. You will first tight. You see, that, that thing you're doing, honoring the Lord, you go before the Lord and say, Lord, you've done it. I've received so much. And I just want to honor you first. That thing alone brings a calmness in your mind. And then you take out, the first thing you take out of that sum, the first thing you take out of that money, is not to start calling, hey, ah, hey, God has done a miracle, oh, guys, uh, let's, 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 let's go and um, have some lunch, let's, nah, first thing you do, circumcise that money by taking out the tithes, say, Lord, you know I'll honor you first, thank you, Jesus. You have proved your word to me that you can take care of me. So I honor you with your by your words and I take out the tithe. And the moment you separate the tithe from that money, guess what's going to happen? The Spirit of God takes charge of you. And he begins to control the affairs of even the rest. That you don't get into silly things. See? So because we tithe, God, you know, some of you don't understand. When, when God says, I'll rebuke the devourer, you don't understand what God is talking about. You don't. Now, you see, no one who practices tithing truly, truly, I'm not just saying bring up the 10% and give to church. That's, you, you may not be tithing even if you do that. The fact that you give 10% to your church doesn't mean you're tithing. You don't know what tithing is. It must carry the mark of honor in it. It must be the first thing you do with your finances. And thirdly, it must be by the Spirit of God, which is the most important of it all. You must be led by the Spirit of God where Titan is concerned. Now, when you do this, you are bringing the Spirit of God over that sum. And he begins to control it. And because he's the one controlling it, no devourer can devour you. No. And if anything happens, you will see quickly how he will replace it. Because some people say, oh, say he will rebuke the devourer. How come they stole my money? You see, rebuking the devourer, is mean, it means showing that the devourer was wrong. That can be before, it can also be after. If, you, if someone steals something from you, just wait a few, few moments down the, the, the road, you realize that, ah, thank God they even took that thing. I didn't know I would have even have, have this better one. What's that? The devourer has been rebuked. What does it mean rebuke? Show that the devourer was wrong. Yeah. I will show that the devourer is wrong that's the whole essence that's why we tight people don't understand these things so god begins to control your finances he begins to control how you spend he begins to control your mind there is a peace of mind that he gives to you he's the one that will begin to give you ideas on what to do so in the month of june i said god is going to open up wells for you strange wells strange wells will be open to you and when those wells are open to you i said something plan for the next quarter of this year the next quarter is going to be tough mm. tough 
tough in different ways. There's going to be confusions. And those confusions will cause even governments to make strange laws. I'm speaking by the Spirit of God now. Those confusions will make governments, not just here in our own country, Nigeria, no. Governments will make strange laws. And those strange laws will benefit some of God's children. But the generality of making those laws is to clamp everyone down. Because they want to control everybody. They want to control your movement. They want to control your finances. So these are things that will happen in the next quarter. But then there is a preparation the Lord is going to cause you to prepare in the month of June. I come nearly. I'm going to share more of these things because as I speak, the Lord is just opening more and more up. Now, this, these are the things I'm going to be sharing with, with us while we pray um, later tonight. We're going to take it at different segments of the prayer meeting. That's why I said I don't want you to miss it. The month of June is a month of preparation. Get in line so that God will prepare you properly for what is coming ahead. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray. I pray the Spirit of God will give you understanding. I pray the Lord will open your eyes to see more than ever before. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I'm seeing someone, you have um, your right foot, so much pain on your right foot. From the ankle down, like each time you put that foot down, you're in pains. The Lord is healing you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I, I see someone, there's something wrong with your left side. The left side of your body. You feel some kind of weakness as though you're getting um, into paralysis. I pray the Holy Spirit revives your mortal body right now. Let the Holy Spirit revive your mortal body. Let him vitalize it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm seeing a singer. You are a singer. But you have a big problem with your voice. Something with your truth that is affecting your voice. And you, you have this fear that you may never sing properly again. You've, you've taken several things, but it doesn't seem to go. Can you place your hand right there, right now? I come niski separita vaya. Be healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command your truth to be healed. And I command it to clear up in Jesus' name. You feel like throwing up something, just go and throw it out. And you are healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, precious Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Sicknesses are being healed right now. Migraine headaches are gone right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't afford to be sick. No, you can't. You can't. I speak right now to blood pressure situations. I speak right now to diabetes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, be healed in your body. Let your blood pressure become normalized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anything wrong with your liver, your kidney, I speak healing right now. Be healed, be healed, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. You can begin to check your body. Just, just begin to check your body and, and see that the Lord have healed you. Some of you are feeling some pains. Check your body now. You see that the pains have gone. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we just give you praise today. Thank you. Thank you for manifesting your word to us this month. And we are so glad on this last day of the month. We worship you, Lord. 
Let all honor and glory be to your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Remember to join us tonight. Uh, we're starting at 12 midnight on Zoom. The information is on your screen. Save it so that you'll join us at 12 midnight. We're going to be praying at 12 midnight at 3 a.m. For one hour at each watch. 12 midnight, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., 12 noon, 3 p.m., 6 p.m. And the last watch is going to be by 9 p.m. At these different segments, we'll take up different issues and receive the word of God consigning them and then pray consigning them. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tonight. Bye.